In the meantime, I want to get back to this conversation we've been having on the Supreme Court. I still have Greg, Daryl, Father Sirico, and uh, John all here with me. You know, we were talking about whether or not, Daryl, we would actually see businesses, uh, you know, utilize this ruling. And might we actually see a reduction in terms of health benefits as a result? Your take? Uh, there will be companies that are going to deny birth control coverage to their employees. But I think this decision is bad from a governance standpoint. As I mentioned before, there are 49 different court cases pending where corporations want to nullify various aspects of public policy. There are companies that don't like the policy on transfusions, on vaccinations. And so this sets a precedent that could very, very well lead to corporate nullification of public policy. You know, Father Sirico, it you know, but shouldn't individual business owners have a right here to their own religious beliefs? Why is it that as soon as you go out and you start a business, you're no longer allowed to have some personal conviction? That's precisely what the court has ruled in this case in two respects. It, it doesn't make the distinction between a person's religious conscience and then that person organized in a corporation. Uh, but let's also remember that this is a, a kind of restricted ruling. It's those who are closely related. So it's privately held businesses with not a lot of members. The Hobby Lobby family uh, have demonstrated that. So, I mean, so that's uh, one of the differences here, right? I mean, this is a privately yes. held company as opposed to a publicly held company. Uh, and, and Greg, uh, if you're still with us, explain the significance of that. I mean, they're talking about companies here that are held by, you know, a, a small group of individuals as opposed to many stock sh shareholders. Right, and, and the court said, uh, you know, we're not necessarily ruling out that a big publicly traded company could do this, but as a practical matter, it's very unlikely to occur because um, it, it's much easier to tell that in the case of Hobby Lobby, there are a few family members, they all share a common core of religious beliefs, and they all believe that providing this co coverage would be immoral. Much harder to see how that would translate uh, in the context of a big uh, publicly traded company. You know, Jonathan Allen, how is this going to play out in Democratic circles? Are we going to hear a lot about a slip? Free slope. Absolutely. I think what you're going to hear going forward is Democrats making the argument that the Supreme Court is now engaged in a war on women, much like you have heard them talking about Republicans in Congress being engaged in that war on women in particular, uh, not just with the Hobby Lobby case, but with another one today uh, involving home health care workers that think they see women as being uh, the victims of a Supreme Court decision here, uh, in particular with regard to Hobby Lobby not being able to access contraception uh, for, for the reduced rates that you would get by having it insured through your health insurance program. Yeah, and this is very much, uh, you know, part of the argument that Ruth Bader Ginsburg uh, made, and I think we have a full screen quote from her, uh, what she actually wrote on this, if we can bring it up. Um, take a look here. Religious organizations exist to foster the interests of persons subscribing to the same religious faith. Not so for for-profit corporations. Workers of those corporations commonly are not drawn from one religious community. Um, so concern here that it, it really is going to be a slippery slope that's going to have a big effect on many, many people. Are those uh, concerns perhaps a little over overblown, Greg? Greg? Oh, I'm, I, I, I'm sorry. I couldn't hear the question. Could you repeat Are it again, Are those concerns please? overblown? The slippery slope argument that we're likely to hear from many Democrats, are those overblown? Uh, yeah, I mean, those are going to have to be litigated. Um, there are some arguments uh, that, for example, uh, vaccines is a different situation because the government has an interest in having everybody vaccinated in a way that perhaps it doesn't in having everybody use birth control. Uh, we're just going to have to see how that plays out in litigation. The majority did say that as a practical matter, again, there aren't that many of those kind of cases out there where a company doesn't want to pay for transfusions or, or doesn't want to comply with gender discrimination laws citing religious grounds. Okay, we're going to leave there. Thank you very much, Greg, Darrell, Reverend uh, Sirico, and John. Thank you very much.